In this video, we'll be looking at CRM security. CRM security involves record ownership, setting up security roles, and business units. Records can be owned by either a user or a team. For this video, we'll focus on user-owned records. Security involves a number of elements. There's what record a user owns, what business unit they're a part of, and what roles they have. The user can have one or more roles. In this example, Sharp Innovations is the company record, and Sharp is owned by Bill Gardner. Security roles are configured in the Security Area CRM. To get there, first go to Settings, then Security, and then Security Roles. This will show you all the roles that you have configured in the system. Out of the box, Dynamics comes with a number of roles. So the rule of thumb when configuring a new security role is to first copy an existing role by clicking a role and under Move Actions, selecting Copy Role. We'll then be able to name the new role and make the changes to that role. Don't make any changes to an out-of-the-box security role and don't create a role from scratch. So we'll go ahead and copy role. We'll then be able to name this role. So we'll call it CRM Dynamics Sales Manager. Okay, so here's the role that we have just created. And you can see that the tabs at the top contain different areas that the role can be configured for. So you can configure it for the core records such as accounts, contacts, and then marketing, sales, service, business management, service management, customization, and any custom entity. So on the core records tab, if you look at company, you can see that for this manager role, they can create a record in the system. So for any business unit, they can read any record, write, delete, append, append to, assign, and share any record. Now a sales rep may not have the same rights as a sales manager. So if this was a sales rep instead, they may only be able to create their own records, and that's shown with a single piece of pie. And the legend for these pie shapes is located at the bottom. So if there are no pieces of pie selected, they can't do that particular thing. So this might be desirable if I don't want a sales rep to have access to companies. This means that they will not be able to see any company records. A single piece of pie means that they can see only their own records. Half a pie means that they can only see records in their business unit. And three quarters of a pie means business unit and below. And a full pie means that they have access to all records in the organization for that type. So let's say they can only create, read, and write their own records, and they don't have access to deleting anything. They can append and append to their own records, but can't assign and can't share. So now the security has been configured for the company entity and can be configured for any other entities in the system. Now we talk a lot about business units because business units are what drive who sees what, beyond the simple who owns the record. And in the next module, we'll look at business units. So a business unit will typically have a parent. In this case, there is a corporate business unit, and this is where the executive team will usually reside. That can then be broken down, and in this example, we've got a European, Canadian, and a US division. They can be broken down as well. So we've got Canada broken into West, Central, and East. And then the Central division can be broken into Southwestern Ontario, the GTA, and then the Northeast. So that's a brief run through of security. To recap, records are owned by users or teams. Each user can have one or more roles, and each user is connected to a business unit. A record becomes part of a business unit because it's the person or team that owns it.